If you would like to learn nine easy and popular ukulele chords for beginners or any level, then stick around because this tutorial is just for you. I'm gonna love you unconditionally. Take your pain. Hey guys, it's Dylan Lane, and if you're brand new to the ukulele, or even if you've been playing for a while, you've probably noticed by now that there are some very common chords that are used in a lot of tutorials or written on a lot of song sheets. Speaking of song sheets, I do have one specifically for this video, which I will link down below. The sheet will have pictures of all of the chords I'm about to teach you. The pictures will be of my hands on the chords, so that way you can match them to make sure you're playing the chord just right. If you can learn and practice the nine easiest and most popular ukulele chords, it'll make learning your favorite songs so much more enjoyable because you won't be having to wonder, how do I play this chord? With all of that being said, here are the nine easiest and most popular ukulele chords. Let me give you a quick breakdown of how this tutorial will work. First, I'll go over each of the nine chords with you quickly. I'll say them and play them. Then I'll break down what your finger numbers are and what your string numbers are and I'll talk about which finger goes on which string and which fret. After that you should be good to go. Chord number one will be C. Chord number two will be F. Chord number three will be G. Chord number four will be A minor. Chord number five will be E minor. Chord number six will be A major. Chord number seven will be D major. Chord number eight will be B flat major. And chord number nine will be D minor. Out of all nine of those chords, B flat major is by far the hardest. However, I didn't want to leave it out of this video because even though it's a little bit on the harder side, it is a very popular chord that you will see in a lot of tutorials. So let's take a little more in depth look at each chord. I'm going to be referring to your index finger as finger one, your middle finger as finger two, your ring finger as finger three, and your pinky as finger four. For string numbers, the string closest to the floor will be string one, then string two, string three, and the string closest to your face will be string four. Then we have what are called frets, so these sections in between the bars. So we have fret one, fret two, fret three, fret four, and so on. For the C chord, you'll take finger three, and you'll place it on fret three, string one. For the F chord, you'll take finger one, and you'll place it on string two, fret one. Then you'll take finger two, and you'll place it on string four, fret two. For the G chord, you'll take finger one, and you'll place it on string three, fret two. You'll take your finger two and you'll place it on string one, fret two. Then you'll take your finger three and you'll place it on string two, fret three. For A minor, you'll take your finger two and you'll place it on fret two, string one. For E minor, you'll take finger one and you'll place it on fret two, string one. You'll take finger two and place it on fret three, string two and you'll take finger three and place it on fret four, string three. For A major, you'll take finger one and you'll place it on string three, fret one. Then you'll take finger two and you'll place it on string four, fret two. For D major, you'll place finger one on fret two, string four. Finger two on fret two, string three finger three on fret two, string two. For B flat major, you'll use the side of finger one to press down on strings one and two, fret one. You'll place finger two on string three, fret two, and finger three on string four, fret three. And for D minor, you'll place finger three on string four, fret two, finger two on fret two, string three, and finger one on string two, fret one. 
Once you've played through these chords a few times, I would suggest watching my video called How to Switch Chords Faster, which will give you a practicing method that you can use to get quick and smooth at switching between each of your ukulele chords. Again, if you would like to download the song sheet for this video, I'll post a link to it in the description box down below. It will have pictures of each of the chords that I just went over, where you can see my hands on each chord. Until next time, remember to play right and spread the light. Joy comes for free, oh, it's living inside of me, dancing.